here to shoot and to write. I've done other magazine stories, destination trips, that sort of thing, but I've never done anything on this scale. It was, I mean, this is a huge trip. <laughs> when, when they dropped us off at the Rabuba River, it was like we were in seriously wild territory there. They just dropped us in the, we weren't even on land, you know, they dropped us on a sandbank out in the middle of the ocean. And uh, they said, here we go guys, you're here, this is it, this is the Ravuma River. And we're like, you yeah. oh, know, where the hell are we now, you know, what do we do? Paddled home. <laughs> Very deep water here, about 500 meters below us. So we hope to get to land in about another two and a half hours. We certainly can't camp on this island. Another 18 k in the next little dot. The next little, there's nothing in between here and there. It's open ocean. Fishing wise, they, all the people are using mosquito nets to fish. So they take everything from a pea sized shell through to big fish. You know, when they drag that across an estuary mouth or in the, in the shallow surf zone, um, basically cleans out just about every, everything from the smallest little piece of plankton to any fish or anything that's around there. They go out with their nets, um, swing their nets out for quite a big area. And they'll stand on the beach and they'll haul the nets in and bring in their catch like that. And most of, their, most of their catch is very small fish, which are then dried on the sand. Once they're dried, they collect them, sieve them, clean them, bag them, and then they sell them in towns like um, Nakala, Nampula, um, Kiliman, or Angoshi. It just depends on the closest town that they can get to. Hey, amigo, obrigado. People were just so friendly. Every island you arrive on, people welcome you. Okay, you get big crowds, and that took a lot of getting used to. Um, but people would give us chickens, they'd give us eggs, coconuts, uh, mealy meal, and most of it was for free. I don't think we would have made it if we hadn't had the, um, the kindness and the hospitality of everybody, whether they fed us for four days or whether they gave us um, three eggs. The biggest thank you uh, to the people of Mozambique, it's just been absolutely incredible. Muito obrigado. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, 